Loretta Ryan, LD, MMAC. This is your boy, the Coach Show Live, blah, 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 the Coach Show, the Coach Show Live. Y'all know the routine. Skip the background noise. Let's just get right into it. Guys, y'all know this one kind of hits me a little bit difficult, man. Hits me difficult. Sabina Mazo uh, was released from the UFC. And I, I kind of thought that this was coming. I just would never say it on, on a live stream or I would never say it in a video. But I kind of knew that this was coming, and I've kind of always been pretty, pretty good about predicting when the UFC, you know, gonna, you know, have release, you know, cuts. And you know, if you guys really want to know a fighter who, you know, you you wondering, hey, are they gonna get cut? Are they getting cut? Y'all just, just come to this channel because I've, I've been right probably every single time. I just didn't want to say this because I know Sabina Mazo, and uh, you know, interviewed her, got a chance to even know her outside the camera. And, you know, she's just a magnificent human being, you know. Um, you know, Sabina definitely works hard. You know, she works hard at her craft. Um, I kind of felt like the cut was coming, you know, after she lost a hard-fought battle to uh, Alexis Davis. And, well, it was a hard, she fought hard, but she was dominated against Davis and dominated against Maverick. Um, and I've never really seen Sabina dominated like that in any fight. Um, and any fight that she's lost, it's always been a war. Like, she's made it difficult, you know, for her to lose. And so, I kind of, I saw the, I saw the Maverick fight, and I was just like, something is off. Like, she don't look the way she normally looks, you know. She just looked like she didn't have any energy. She looked real flat. She just didn't look like herself. And um, I kind of just, I said to myself, you know, hey, you know, she's going through some stuff. You know, she's got a new relationship you know she's got a, a lot of different things going on um and i don't know you know nobody can really pinpoint the reason you know why a person you know why a person is actually doing what they do you know why a person you know just can't seem to just pull the trigger and and i felt like sabina was having an issue just pulling the trigger like it really looked like she was having an issue you know trying to pull that trigger trying to actually throw punches when she would normally throw punches it's, it's almost like she was gun shy and she was just kind of waiting to react to what Maverick did. And she did the same thing against Davis. She was waiting for Davis to, to make a move so she can react. But it just, you know, didn't work out that way. Um, Mazo even, too, just her striking. You know, it just didn't look the way it normally looked. And I felt like even uh, Miranda Maverick got the best of her on the feet as well. Um, I think Mazo needs to reset. You know, I think she needs to reset. You know, she got released. So it's another opportunity for her to go elsewhere, you know, or just try to hone her skill set, you know, even, you know, possibly, hey, you know, there's an Invicta, you know, there's an Invicta opportunity probably around the corner for her, okay? Or, you know what, she may even get pulled into the Bellator regime, who knows? But, you know, I, I definitely know that there was, there's something not right, okay? There's just something not right about what's going down, you know? And I, and I have my speculations, you know, I won't, like, put it out there, but I just, I don't know. You know, she just, she don't look as fluid as she normally look. You know, she don't look as confident as she normally look. And would this be a person that I would have cut first? No, there are other people that are still around. <laughs> just guy. There are people that are still around who I'm kind of thinking, why are they still here? Like, they still here. They hadn't got cut. Like, what, what, you know, what the heck? Okay, what the heck? You know? But I think, though, getting cut may be, it may be a good thing for Mazo because I think Mazo now, Maybe we'll look at, hey, you know what? Maybe I'm deficient in this area. Okay, maybe I just go and really, really, really go do some things in this area. Okay, maybe my grappling isn't isn't proficient, you know? Maybe my wrestling isn't proficient. I, I think me personally, if I'm Mazo, I'm going to go to wrestling camp with Chris Cyborg. Like, I'm going to go wrestle. Because I think two and two in both her fights, it wasn't more of a jujitsu thing because her jujitsu has actually gotten a lot better. I think when Mazo there's a wrestling component that's just missing. And I think Mazo need to wrestle. I think she need to just take some time off from striking. And let's just get around all the all the wrestlers she can get around. And wrestle. Like just wrestle to death. Just wrestle, 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 wrestle. And then see what happens. Um, and I guarantee you, you know, she'll probably find uh, you know success in that area. Um, you know, maybe she need to take a step down in competition, you know, beat some lesser opponents. You know, go to, you know, like an Invicta. Beat some lesser opponents. You know, go beat those people. Get your confidence back and then come back strong. Um, because, you know, whenever you're on top and when you're doing stuff, people, 
they support you. But, you know, when you're not on top, people don't want to support you. People, you know, they just talk down on you. Well, I know I ain't going to talk down on the Columbia Queen. That's my girl. I ain't going to talk down on her. You know, uh, uh, you know, Sabina Mazo is a G. Sabina Mazo is a G. That's a damn G, you know. Um, and Sabina don't come back strong. You know, she's always come back strong. Every time she's had a setback, she's always come back strong. But, you know, I probably recommend maybe, maybe it's people in her circle, you know, that's taking away her energy to where she need that energy to go toward the fight game, you know, maybe. And sometimes, you know, you have to kind of reevaluate your circle. You have to reevaluate who you're spending time with. You have to reevaluate that. And you have to reevaluate, are these people that you're spending time with, you know, and this is what I do. Like, whenever I want to make a move or a change in life, when I want to change in season, this is what I have to do. I have to figure out who's stopping me from that goal. Like, what exactly, you know, are these people doing or how are these people taking away from my goal? And I started to do an inventory of that, and guess what I do? Guess what I do? <laughs> I just move back, I reset, and I cancel people who don't help me reach my goals. I've had to do that. I do that at least three or four times a year. I cut people. I cut them out. I cut them out of my life. I cut them out completely. And then when I cut these people out, because when I start doing an inventory assessment of the goals that I haven't reached yet, when I do an inventory assessment and I cut out the people that need to get cut out, you wouldn't believe the goals that I hit. I hit them fast. Like I just hit a goal recently, but I cut three people out. I cut three people out. I did an inventory assessment, cut those three people out, and boom, next thing you know, I hit another goal. I hit another goal that I had set for myself. So, you know, Sabina might have to go through that, you know? She might have to go through that. Um, but I think she need to keep her constitution. I think she need to keep that, man. She need to keep that and just don't lose hope. Because, you know, when you're on a losing streak and you're a fighter, I'm going to tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something about these fighters, man. Their jobs, they're hard, man. And being a fighter, can be in depre- it can be depressing. My like, folks, I'm going to tell you, it's the worst feeling in the world when you're sitting there, right? And, you know, you've taken all this punishment, you've taken abuse, you've taken it in practice. You know, you, you go to fights and events and you take abuse in the fights. And it's like you take all this punishment and then when you feel like you don't get a reward, fighters are some of the most depressed athletes on the planet. Okay, there's no doubt. Many, many fighters are depressed. I've talked to so many fighters who deal with depression. And, and it seems to come with it. It seems like it's a package deal. They do. It seems like that depression is a package deal when it comes to fighting. And you can understand why, because you're in an eight-week training camp, man, and the training camps are brutal, okay? You, you, don't, you don't eat all three meals because you're trying, to, you're trying to make weight, okay? And some days, you don't get any food. Some days, you just you do a water fast so you can make weight. Folks, I'm telling you how fighters live. I'm telling you. I understand. I know. I understand completely. And you can't even, you know, can't, some fighters, they don't even do the horizontal poker, doing training because they feel like that that may take away from their uh, training. That's how some fighters feel. And I have to understand, too, these people, man, they ain't seeing their family for weeks at a time. Some of these fighters got three and four kids, and they can't see their kids for weeks at a time. Like, guys, this fight game is not for everybody. And I always laugh when people say, man, I'm I'm, I'm going to be a professional fighter. Do you really want that? Do you truly want that? Is that? Is that what you want? Because, see, you have to sell out. You have to sell out. And see, fighters are not normal. You don't get to be normal. You don't get, you have to sell out. You have to sell out everything that you are to be the best in the world. And if you're not willing to do that, the fight game ain't for you. You're going you gonna to lose. You're going to get your ass whooped. That's what's going to happen. That's what exactly is going to happen. How you doing? That's going to happen. You have to sell out. You got to sell out. You have to sell out completely to be the best fighter. You can't have do fight. You can't have do it. You can't have do it. Like you have to completely, and eventually, if you got a job, you have to get to the point where you don't work because you have to commit all your time to fighting. And then you have to rest. You have to rest when you have to rest. I'm telling you, man. So I might even do a video on what it takes to be like a fighter. Like what you really, what you walking into. I'm gonna do a video on that. But anyway, man. Shout out to Sabina Monzo. You know. She doing her thing. You know, she'll she'll be back strong. I'm done.